How would you feed 6,000 people when they're on a massive aircraft carrier? Throwing some ingredients in a pot and calling it a day isn't the best way to handle the situation. There is a lot of forethought and preparation required when serving such a large number of people. Starting with breakfast and ending with dinner, we'll show you what goes into feeding the entire crew. It's a mystery no longer, you know exactly how they do it. So, hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll show you the inner workings of the galley and the dedicated chefs and cooks who keep the ship's passengers and crew fed and happy at all times. Like the cooks in a large restaurant, those on an aircraft carrier have to deal with sizzling grills. Meat is chopped and dipped in sticky mixtures while workers in paper helmets and uniforms rush through massive mixing machines to get the fresh baked goods out of the ovens as fast as possible. During a military mission, the crew of the USS Harry S. Truman works longer hours with fewer breaks, so the ship's chefs, who are also known as culinary professionals, are essential in order to feed the ship's roughly 5,500 passengers. It is critical to ensure that personnel is adequately fed in order to maintain morale and energy. Even with 114 sailors contributing, a floating metropolis requires approximately 17,300 meals per day to feed everyone. However, those in charge of this massive undertaking claim that cooperation, organization, and multitasking are essential. Chief Petty Officer Naomi Goodwin, who is in charge of the officers' meals, has said that being on deployment makes you more of a team player. We are extremely reliant on one another. Because there are other options for sailors to eat, cooking at the home port is much less time-consuming and so the crew may eat as much as 350 pounds of lettuce, 160 gallons of milk, and 30 boxes of cereal in a single day, as stated by Goodwin. According to Petty Officer 2nd Class Brandy Royal, who prepares meals for E6S and below, there is nowhere else for us to go during deployment, so we must become accustomed to mass manufacturing. She stated that mass production is the norm and that cooks must constantly prepare meals in order to participate in a variety of activities and learn to take on new ones. She also emphasized the importance of versatility, stating that the cook's prior culinary skills may have been all over the place before joining the Navy. She went on to say that everyone from professional chefs to people who have never boiled water before was welcome. According to her, the most difficult responsibility is bringing younger members of the staff up to the required skill level while they are deployed, owing to the increased pace and workload. It is crucial to make sure that there are enough supplies for each of the carrier's seven galleys. According to the Royal, every seven to ten days, a supply ship unloads between 400,000 and 1 million pounds of food. To provide a more varied menu option, they would occasionally include regional cuisine in the delivery, such as feta cheese made in Greece. The Navy creates a 21-day menu that includes dishes like Taco Tuesday and a Mongolian grill, which the royals believe are comparable to the food served at P.F. Chang's. These dishes are meant to boost employee morale. Goodwin claims that on the day of their birthday, sailors who are serving at sea receive a special lunch. Along with the main course of prime rib or lobster, this meal includes tablecloth wine glasses and soothing music. According to Goodwin, the food the sailors eat has a direct impact on how they feel on board. This means that the chefs put in a lot of work to ensure that all of the food they produce has a pleasant flavor. According to her, food is the center of her universe. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.